Hi, this is Nawi with Slopochli with Dr. William Fowler. And um, can you tell me a little bit about, about yourself, please? Uh, yes, I'm an anthropologist, archaeologist. I work on Nahua cultures in, in Mexico and Central America and the um, late uh, pre-conquest, conquest period, early colonial period. I work in El Salvador. I've been doing archaeological field work and and historical research on Nahua cultures of, of El Salvador, Central America, generally El Salvador specifically, since about 1975. And I um, have been excavating at a conquest period town called Ciudad Vieja, which was the first Villa de San Salvador, occupied from 1528 to 45. And uh, that's, that's what I do. I teach at Vanderbilt University. And um, of course, uh, university professors teach um, a wide variety of courses. But I'm fortunate to be able to teach courses that are very closely related to the research that I just described. So I think that pretty well covers what I do. Um, can you tell me a little about the pipil and um, where they came from? And what, like what time period? Yes, well, after the, um, the breakup of the Toltec Empire, beginning sometime in the 12th, the middle of the 12th century, and continuing on into the 13th century, uh, a, a lot of Nahua speaking groups began to move south and settle in various parts of the southern valley of Mexico and in eastern Puebla and many of them continued moving. Some of those groups continued moving southward on uh, down into Central America and the Pipils were among these Toltec related groups that began moving into Central America at this time during what we call the, the post-classic period and we can see them both um, in, in the um, archaeology and um, through the ethno-historical research that, that myself and other scholars have conducted for the past hundred years or so. So it's, it, although many people think that the, the Pipil culture is not very well known, uh, a lot of work has been conducted on that culture over the years. Um, it, it, it simply is a matter of putting all the information together and, and uh, trying to, to um, make sense of it in, a, in an organized, structured uh, way that, that, and to make it accessible to other people. Uh, can you tell me about the Nicaro from Nicaragua? Yes, well, they were also Nahua speakers and um, migrated at some time, uh, probably between the um, sometime between the um, 10th and 13th centuries, maybe a bit later, but definitely some century before the conquest period. And and uh, they are uh, a little harder to find archaeologically, but we do have have good ethno-historic accounts of them from the 16th century interviews that uh, one particular questionnaire that was was um, done by uh, a Spanish priest and and asking them questions about their religion their cosmology it, it all sounds very much like the Aztecs so we have that on them uh, we don't know much about them archaeologically. It's been very difficult for researchers working in Nicaragua to find any um, any definitely identified Nicaragua settlements. Okay, uh, um, can you tell me about your book, your out of print book? And if yes. somebody's trying to get a hold of it, how do they get it? <laughs> well, that's a, a a great question. I um, the title of it. The title of it is the cultural evolution of ancient Nahua civilizations, the Pipil Nicarao of Central America. Very long, convoluted title, but if anyone's interested, maybe uh, all they have to do is remember the Pipil Nicarao of Central America. Occasionally, a used copy shows up on Amazon. And um, I am working right now with the, um, the 
University Press in, at the University of El Salvador to um, produce a Spanish translation of the book. And if, if that it becomes possible, it may be available within about a year. And um, it's also possible that we, that we may produce a, a, a new edition of it, an updated edition uh, in English by the original publisher, which was University of Oklahoma Press. But as you said, it is out of print, and, and uh, the only way to get a copy now is, is um, to buy a used copy, unfortunately. And if somebody wants to get a hold of you, um, how do they get a hold of you? What, what website or...? Uh, yes, they can look for me at the, um, on the um, university website, Vanderbilt University Department of Anthropology. And um, I'm also on Facebook, if anybody wants to look for me there, William Fowler at Vanderbilt University. Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you very much. I You're very it. welcome. Okay. Just, just